This is, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 5th to the 11th of February 2024. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watchers are welcome. Alright, so you get the blue moon, believe in the impossible. Pisces is known to be a bit of a daydreamer, I know because I'm a Pisces, believe in the impossible, I always do that too. Supermoon, emotions are running high, okay, so your emotions may be being tested here, especially around some sort of belief that you do have here. Believe in the impossible, but it may cause some emotions to be running high because nobody likes to be told that's not going to happen. Believe in the impossible, it's not always impossible. Wow, okay, Pisces, so 5th to the 11th of February 2024. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Pisces. I have also uploaded all of the monthly readings. I'm just going to say, holy shit, what's going on? Um, all of the monthly readings for each sign, if you want to go and check those out as well. Got it got a bit better and it's because of this eight of swords overall for the week finding other ways around things legally and morally I always say but I feel like at the start of the week there's a bit of crap happening believe in the impossible this is really testing the emotions here but by the end of the week we'll get there shortly but this is definitely finding those detours. Monday, may have connection to a Capricorn. You've got the deceiver here. Negative, unhealthy, toxic energy that's trying to pull you in a different direction. Maybe an addiction of some sort. Maybe within. Maybe something that's going on around you out here with somebody else. Um, but negative energy that definitely is not wanted. Three of Swords. Tuesday, third party energy, and it's exactly that. Um, third party doesn't have to be someone, it may be something, it may be somewhere, but ultimately this third party, it's causing heartbreak, it's causing grief, it's causing these roadblocks where you feel like you're not able to get things moving in a forward direction. Emotions are running high, but it is about finding these other ways. Wednesday, Queen of Wands. Focusing on what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. Believe in the impossible. We said Pisces is known to be that daydream kind of energy, but believe that it can be done. That confidence, that determination, I'm doing this. And look, just like that, wish it was just like that, but ultimately Thursday, you are celebrating. And this may be just the whole turn of what this energy is at the start of the week that you are celebrating here. Whether it's virtually online, whether you can get together with friends and family, whether it's getting a job, buying a home, whether it's something around love, whether it's this detour and where it now is taking you. Crack open the champagne, you're celebrating. Maybe that it is love here, Prince of Cups, a message of love. You may be offering that love to someone, they may be offering that love to you. Existing relationship, somebody brand new, still may be a job you love or a home you love, but this Prince of Cups is more like, um, I'm going to say, a knight in shining armour. Not that I really believe those are out there, but again, we're back to believe in the impossible. But ultimately, you are celebrating something here, and this offer is on its way or coming in here. Ten of Cups, Saturday. Emotional happiness, content with where things are here. Um, emotional support, sometimes that's not so obviously so. And this may be what this whole Prince of Cups is bringing in. That knight in shining armor, as I said, um, to deal with the tough situation you're going through at the start of the week that's causing the emotions to run high. Because on Sunday, Wheel of Fortune, bigger and better things, good luck, good fortune, Hopefully that's for all of you. This may be what this whole detour, derailment that is coming in that gets this momentum happening and definitely starting to pull away from the start of the week here. 
Wow. Eight of Swords overall. Let's clarify everything. The world. Knight of Swords, the devil. Now is your moment to be able to break free from this negative energy by finding those other ways around things. Legally, morally, it is saying don't rush into things. Make sure it is done properly here. Think things through carefully, but you do have the backing of that world. And it's definitely a negative energy that you are ready to detour and away from. May have connection to Capricorn, but Monday is the deceiver. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Judgment. It's caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress. I do say don't judge others, don't let others judge you either. Keep an open mind. You've got the successful new beginning right here. Believe in the impossible and get this new chapter off the ground very solidly and be able to break free from the stress that that negative energy has been delivering to you. Wow, Three of Swords, Tuesday, Pisces, Five of Wands, Three of Wands, Queen of Swords. I feel like you do have this wake-up moment where you are able to see a situation for what it really is or someone for who they really are. Sometimes I say it's in a positive way, but I feel like you're seeing this third-party interference, this meddling, the drama, the conflict, the jealousy here, and you're ready to take some very swift action here to nip that in the bud. Um, before it does get out of hand here and this is your wake up moment there with that three of wands wow queen of wands here wednesday the star love that the tower three of swords you've just come off the three of swords but this is now the tower moment of getting rid of this heartbreak of this third party energy again something someone somewhere that has been starting to get this tower to crumble emotions have been running high around the start of the week with this underlying energy but you're focusing now on your dreams believe in the impossible and focus on what you want who you want where you want to be with that queen of wands that you're um, clarifying there this is that confidence this is that determination to get your dreams off the ground here and it does not include dragging along this negative third party energy. And you are celebrating Three of Cups Thursday and you get the Three of Pentacles, a lot of threes here. Um, five of Swords, Queen of Cups. Proud of how far you've come emotionally, quite um, almost sitting back thinking, wow, look at the journey that I've come from here. But this whole change of direction, this whole detour now, look at where I am actually heading to. It has felt like you've been banging your head against a brick wall time and time again, especially to try and break free from this energy at the start of the week. There is a partnership here, collaboration and working together, maybe around love as we head into this Prince of Cups, it may be around work, it may be around home, but there is this partnership to work together to build a solid foundation once this tower moment has occurred and that is a victory from the battle you've been through prince of cups friday the chariot the wheel of fortune seven of wands love that because this wheel of fortune is here too so this is where things are starting to pick up and to start moving forward towards your bigger and better things. And when it comes back around to look at, you've not given up, you've not quit, maybe not on yourself, maybe not on a situation around you, but this Wheel of Fortune is starting to pick up the pace now, moving in that forward direction. May have connection to Cancer, balancing that chariot out, maybe you and somebody significant here, but ultimately not getting the speed wobbles, going with the flow and getting things moving in that forward direction to those bigger and better things. I'm about to throw these cards everywhere. Pisces, Ten of Cups, Saturday. Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess. You are closing off this burden now, feeling like you're having to do everything yourself. 
you are carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders it's what it's been like at the start of the week here this partnership is on board now to start to ease the workload problem shared problem halved partnership collaboration it is still feeling like you are hanging on to something here but ultimately you're ready to take a step back not get involved in everything all at once take some time to look around you and start to soak up the energy that is I'm going to say bringing a change of fortune throughout here as you head into this wheel of fortune as well Sunday six of cups the hierophant strength yeah this interference this meddling um it is from the past and this past just may be the past from sunday to the start of the week it may be last week last month last year prior to that a long journey that you've come through from something in the past that has not been so favorable and um, may have connection to a taurus or leo it's taken a lot of strength to dig deep mental strength physical strength emotional strength all of the above I always say but digging deep now to leave that past in the past believe in the impossible because this wheel of fortune is pushing you forward to again those bigger and better things so let's see what the universe says to finish Pisces the lovers six of Pentacles two of wands soulmate twin flame somebody significant whether you know it yet or not as an existing relationship or somebody brand new equal give and take don't do all the giving don't let someone else do all the taking focus on your dreams your goals this is something together here that you are starting to move towards that journey as the two of you as possibly it is this partnership collaboration but ultimately um believe in the impossible the emotions have been running high but um, definitely this detour is coming at the right moment so Pisces finishing with Star Temple Oracle you get number 11 the Moonstone Star Passion I am entering a portal of euphoric love oh la la Pisces You've got your lovers there from the universe this is the new portal <laughs> star words sensuality expression freedom the moonstone star signifies the synergy of the sacral chakra and the magical essence of the moonstone crystal just under the navel the orange colored sacral chakra is a potent pleasure zone when combined with opalescent moonstone this chakra unlocks portals of love this co-creative collaboration amplifies sensual expression, personal power, and self-love. It opens up powerful pathways to euphoric love. A tantalizing new relationship or a fresh start within an existing one is pending. Alcyone, the Moonstone Star, encourages you to embrace this new beginning. Well, Pisces, this may be the believe in the impossible. I am a Pisces as I said I love love but um, I can say at the moment I'm not looking but who knows maybe it will land on the doorstep but ultimately thank you for watching many blessings to all of you and I will see you all next time for the weeklies see ya bye